After a few busy days on safaris, it is only fitting to bring our family next to the Kenyan coast. Welcome to a town. Remember a few months back when we found the best beach villa in the country? Well, Tribal Sand just opened a brand new property here in Watamu and once again, we are blown away! Welcome to Zuri by Tribal Sands here in Watamu. So this property has six bedrooms, can hold up to 14 people, beachfront, which we'll see in just a bit, and a massive pool as you can tell my family is already enjoying. Okay, Joel, jump! Go, go, go! Okay, so I'm gonna show you around, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know where to start. This property is huge and it is so stunning. So we're just gonna find our way through it. And of course, we're gonna take you with us. So as you saw with the last property, there are usually so many places to chill. So coming with your huge family or a bunch of friends, it's ideal for that because you're not on top of each other's space. As you can see here, the massive chilling area over there, we have some outdoor dining tables. There is a huge wooden table in the corner there. And of course, more chilling space. And that's just our balcony out to the pool. So let's go in and see the other spaces. Welcome to the downstairs living area. As you can see, lots of places to chill. And then we even have a TV set up here, which I don't think we're gonna be using much of because the pool is fantastic. Lots of fans up above, so you don't have to worry about that. And we have a huge dining room table inside as well if we didn't want to eat outside. Oh, gotta show you this part because this is the first thing that you see when you come in to the house. So this is your entrance. This is what you see when you first arrive to the property and you're greeted with that nice cold face cloth because let's face it, we're all sweating when we first arrive. But even here, lots of places to sit and they even have our gate down up with a beautiful flower heart. It is amazing. Coming back inside the house, to the side, we're gonna show you the first cluster of bedrooms. So we have bedroom, they call it bedroom number two here. So you have a king size bed and you have a walk-in full on bathroom here with shower. But let's go see the other side. So these are mirroring each other, except for twin beds on that side. So I'm gonna show you this side. You come in, you have a bathroom here double sink, shower, toilet, perfect bathroom. And, sorry, one note, you can actually close these doors to make them kind of separate and it basically feels like an apartment in each section. So we also have a changing room here, which my parents have already hung up all their stuff. And then you have your bedroom. So you have a king size bed. You do have AC in the bedrooms. Right now we're just using the fans and letting the breeze blow through because it's amazing and then you come out this side and you're back out to the front of the house. Same thing with the room there, it just comes out right beside it. Coming upstairs to the second cluster of bedrooms. So over on this side, I think this is one of my favorite rooms besides the master bedroom, is this one. So this is set up to be a kid's hallway, kid's room. <laughs> we have your bathroom in here, same thing, shower, toilet, double sink there. Tons of closet space that we will never ever end up using. But the way this room is configured is you have four twin beds. And I think it's just the layout of it. Like it really screams almost like sleepover with the kiddos. I don't know. It just, I've never seen a house that has usually more than like two twin beds. The fact that there's four, if they all want to be together, they can. And the AC in this room, ha <laughs> it's glorious. So then across from the kids' room, you have a parent's room that has a king-size bed there, a little comfy area to chill with their own dressing area and bathroom. Brain fart, it's a little hot right now. <laughs> and bathroom there as well. So as I said, those two bedrooms upstairs here. Now, it's not just the bedrooms. You have another huge grand room up here that has the TV if you want to watch a movie in the evening. Let's say it's raining, you don't want to be outside. 
But the difference with this grand room is it even has two AC units as well. So you can cool down this area too to make it actually usable and not just sweltering in the heat. And then coming outside from that grand room, you can see you have a massive balcony here with patio furniture as well. So it comes out the kids room and then the master bedroom on that side, which we're gonna go show you now. Coming on to the other side of the house, you have what I would call the master's completely side, to be honest. You have a study in here that, unless you're gonna work, that would be a perfect place for you. And now we're coming into the master's changing area, but it's so huge, we're not end up gonna end up using that side. But welcome to the master bedroom, which is absolutely stunning. You have lounge area there, as you can tell, obviously with the master bedroom, king size bed. Since this room is a little bit bigger, you even have two AC units for this one room. Fans, which we're gonna need. <laughs> and then look at the bathroom. It is absolutely stunning. Toilet there, obviously. But look at this huge bathtub carved into the stone. And then our shower room here, again, it's massive with the biggest rainfall shower head that I have ever seen. Double sink. This property is just absolutely stunning. Seriously guys, you know, we've been to so many different properties on the Canyon Coast and there is nothing like tribal sand and they're not paying me to tell you that, so believe me. And the proof is we brought our family here. This is how much we love them. Now, even though this property is amazing, you guys know a property, a nice beach villa, it's not enough. We also have a bunch of cool activities, so stay posted for some good food, for some adventure. It's gonna be a cool couple of days, actually three days. The pool is super nice, but we also have a beach access. And the really cool thing about this beach is that we're about 500 meters to the closest resort. So this is basically a private beach just for the Zuri Villa, which is big thumbs up. Our family went to go check it out. So we're gonna go down and meet them. We just had to pay the fishermen because you're gonna see that tonight. Yeah, we have a chef here and he went to pick up some fresh seafood. So we are filming this video uh, mid-March and the ocean right now is so warm. Like literally being outside feels more refreshing than <laughs> into the water. Whoa. <laughs> we just took a nice little shower after a little afternoon by the pool with the kiddos and everyone. It was pretty nice. Now we're gonna head down to relax a little bit before supper. I'm pretty excited about supper. The last time we were here at Tribal Sen, the food was a solid 10 out of 10. It was so good. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. Shed a little light on this. Everything's man so We don't get the things we want, but we get just what we need. Faith can be a walking dream. Thankfully, I'm here to hold you all, all day. We're not supposed to understand this grand old story. Guys, dinner, fantastic. So, so good. Thank you so much. Have a good night. See you in the morning. Great first half day here. Mm -hmm. We like the entire family has been saying like, oh my God, oh my God, like nonstop. And we had such a good meal tonight. So we had fish with like the Swahili sauce, which I think was great to Delicious. show my family too. Yep. Kind of like a- Everyone Kenyan loved dish. it. Oh, so good. So big shout out to the chef. Yeah. We're gonna go to bed tomorrow. A lot of family fun, mm -hmm. a little special dinner and some more activities coming up in this video. So stay posted, buckle up, cause more to come. Good morning. Whew. It is hot in Wotamu. The AC in there is doing an amazing job, but the rest of the house is uh, Wotamu warm. Otherwise, slept like babies. This matches and these pillows are just fantastic. Tracy just texted me that breakfast is served, so let's go see the fam jam. How did everyone sleep? Perfect. Perfectly, I like to hear that. Yeah. Ooh.
morning in Otamu, there's not a lot of wind. So right now it's a little bit hot. Joel decided to jump in the pool because uh, refreshing, right? Much better now. So we had a fantastic breakfast. We're just chilling by the pool for most of the day today. The kids are um, burning off some energy, of course. And yeah, tonight we're gonna go for some pizza. Only the best pizza in the entire world, including Italy, strong statement. It, it is very good pizza. And we'll see what we get up to today. Just a bit of a chill, relaxing day for our first full day here. One, two, three, go. Give me, give me So for lunch today, we have fish fingers from the leftover fish. We have some fries. We have some vegetables, crackers, cheese. Yeah, it's a great lunch. Can't believe they turned the extra fish into fish fingers. Look at this, perfectly breaded. And it tastes like a million bucks. That's so good. So everyone went back to the room for a little bit of downtime. In the meantime, I'm gonna do a little bit of work because we we never go to places where they actually have a nice little office with AC, a nice view, and just a cool setup. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna see you guys back for the best pizza in the entire world. You, you guys don't want to miss that. Plus tomorrow too, more things to come. I'm the head to one of our favorite restaurants here in Kenya, and the family is very excited because we are going there in style with. Tuk -tuk. All aboard. <laughs> Robert! Yes. Long time no see, my friend. Nice. How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. Good, thank you. Take your tuk tuk. Trust me, Annalise, you haven't been to Kenya if you didn't do a tuk tuk <laughs> ride, so welcome. <laughs> How was your first Tuk Tuk ride? Pretty good. Pretty cool? Did Pretty you love it? So what an experience. Pretty it was awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. The best pizza you ever had? Yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah. there you go. It's yes, Trace. Never had pizza like this before. Mm. I mean, look at this, guys. Like, this place at sunset so doesn't beautiful. get much better than that. So beautiful, right? So, so beautiful. beautiful, he says. Owen, how was your pizza? Delicious. Perfect. Emily, how was your pizza? <laughs> Nana, how was your pizza? Just excellent. Uh, Papa? Absolutely wonderful. Delectable. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is Alfred? quite something. Delicious. Evan, how was your pizza? Phenomenal. Oh, <laughs> strong statement. This was exquisite, fantastic. We actually made a full video about this place that we're gonna link down below if you want more information, but just don't miss it. This is the place to eat pizza. Cook nooks are here, all aboard. Forget them. Squish a little butt. Thank you so much. Well, a best meal ever, and that's one of the cool things about this house. It's, it's in a perfect location in Otago, like super close to like beaches and restaurants and different activities. Yeah. So, success tonight. Yeah, everyone, I'm, they believed it too. Yeah. Everyone said it was the best though. Yeah. So, it's a win. <laughs> now we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow is Adventure Day, AKA the best kind of day. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. We slept so good, but now we gotta go on a boat. Roll out Autobots. So when we're getting ready to go on a boat, instead of worrying about extra towels, um, they even prepared baskets with specific towels for the ocean. So we don't have to worry about that, which is fantastic. My milkshake brings all the boys in the damn room. I can teach you, but I have to charge. <laughs> 
wish you a lovely trip. What do you guys think of the boat? We're gonna be in this all day. <laughs> no, that's not it, that's not it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Captain, how are you? Well, fine, I'm you. Good, good. How are you? Fine. So this morning we are taking the family on board Pepo Huru, which means free spirit in Swahili. This might not look like much guys, but in 2012 it won the Lamu race. So back about 12 years ago, this was the fastest Dao around. And I have to say, it's still pretty fast. I think so. So we've actually been on Pepohuru many times. It's one of our favorite Dao's here. And of course, later on, we're gonna show you um, also why it's our favorite. On top of the Dao, you get really, really, really yummy. Oh yeah, you can see yeah. their fins, they popped it just in front of that boat. So before um, doing some snorkeling and going to like a little beach that we're gonna do today as well, our first goal was to find dolphins and I think we've got some. I think my towels are also just you like to like right over there. joke that was one of the best dolphin encounter we've had like this was amazing we saw like a couple dozens they were jumping and like I got some shots underwater like that was really really good Kidjo where are we going the beach <laughs> you gotta sing Take your spoon, like yep. go all around I to like that. detach it. Detach it. Yeah. And then I can just slurp it in. And then eat the goo. Eat the goo. Yeah. Okay. Is it your first ever pine, uh, passion first, fruit? First one. Ooh, it's a bit sour. Oh, but good. Yeah, a little, yeah. little tart. Yeah, yeah. But I like it. Now we're going to head to our snorkeling spot that should be somewhere this way. But the best spot on the boat, <laughs> there's actually a second floor and you can uh, tan here. Owen is getting tan. Yeah, yeah. Look at these uh, little uh, white legs getting all uh, toasty red. <laughs> Trace actually took our mom back to Rock and see where we're gonna go uh, have lunch delicious food there But yeah with the the heat and the ways when we went to go see the dolphin uh, She felt a little bit seasick. She forgot her sea legs at home, you know So we're gonna catch back up with them a little bit later, but in the meantime, we are almost at the snorkeling spot yes. Maybe one more that's on call ever. No, thank you. You said it We just made it to our snorkeling spot. It is Saturday, so it is quite busy, I have to say. But let's see what we see. Ready to go see some fish, bud? I'm not jumping in yet, but okay. Just came back from a little bit of snorkeling. We saw a lot of different fish, including stingrays, which is the first one I was seeing those here in Kenya. But the, the true highlight, apparently, if you ask the boys, is jumping from the second floor of the ship, right? Oh, yeah. That's the fun part. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. And he's gone. <laughs> Thank you so much, Captain. Jackson, so always much, a pleasure. Guys. You're rocking sea! <laughs> Teenagers. Oh, yeah, she it. up 
And just like that, we made it to Rock and Sea. So, my mother and I have been chilling here at Rock and Sea, taking the afternoon, morning, very chill, which is fantastic. Um, so, we are going to have some pasta and seafood, fresh seafood, which is so good. You guys know, we've talked about this before, if you want really good pasta, you need to come to Rock and Sea. So, we're just waiting for that to come. Myrna, Myrna. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, and at least you're gonna have to participate too. Yep. Thank you, Vern. <laughs> but you get you gotta sing your song now. It's been singing that for like two days, so now he has finally a milkshake. Yep. <laughs> Victory! So here at Rock and City, actually make the pastas from scratch the true Italian way, and it's some of the best we've ever had outside of Italy, I guess. The best pasta, not in the coast, in the country. The kids are having like just like spaghetti with tomato sauce, but it's like insanely good. Now to the pool. Delicious lunch, I think everyone As enjoyed. Usual. Yeah, the freshness of their seafood is so, so good. Yeah. And of course, the homemade pasta. Nothing beats the pasta here at Rock and Sea. So, so good. <laughs> Comfy? Yeah. Here we go. Like and subscribe to Dave Manny because he's the best YouTuber. Exactly. Listen to this little guy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you your five bucks later. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> After a nice and relaxing afternoon around the pool here at Rock and Sea, now we are going back to Pepa Huru, the Dao, uh, for a little sunset cruise, which is going to be very nice. Their first one. I'm sure they're going to have a good time. So we are back on the boat for our sunset cruise and these are one of my favorites to be completely honest. We cut the engines, put the sail up and it's just so peaceful. So we're just slowly going to glide down Mita Creek and have some snacks, maybe a couple drinks and watch the sunset. From the dozens of dolphins this morning to this perfect sunset, we got really, really lucky today. It was such the perfect day, literally the perfect day. Um, Pipo Huru is our favorite down in Kenya. We're gonna put the information down below if you wanna book this. Such, such a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Fun day though? The tuk-tuks are here, it is time to return to our beautiful villa. Full day? That was a full day. 
So now that we're back at the house, the chef has prepared supper. I'm not gonna lie, we are pretty full from the day, but we're gonna try and eat some supper because I know that his food is going to be fantastic. And then crawl in our AC rooms and have the best sleep again. Thank you so much. Delicious, as always. Apart from the house, the house staff, they are just amazing. From the quality of the service to the chef and the delicious food that he makes for every single meal. Like if you ever come to any tribal center property because it was the same thing at the other one at Vipingo, don't worry about service and food. It's a solid 10. Zuri. This place is fantastic, but I do want to say before we get into it is that it holds true to the last property as in like tribal sand so far between the two properties. It's been consistent and like in the best way possible. Yeah, they are truly like top of the line in Kenya. Like you For cannot rental, find better. This is absolutely fantastic. So here's my opinion about both. If you're renting as a group of adult friends or going without kids, I would say maybe think about the other one if you want some very Instagrammable photos and like yeah. places to relax with a beautiful view and everything. That would be my Amani. But if you come here as a family with kids, you want them to run free and do their thing, this is the place. Yeah, so this place has a little bit more... I not necessarily more green space but more lawn so like yeah. the kids can run around more the pool is much bigger with a true deep end so the kids when we're here like they love they're it. just <laughs> running around jumping in the pool everything's great um also staff and chef like the staff so here are so amazing and so accommodating again we've come with kids so sometimes we need like some last minute little adjustments like just adjusting like food and everything like that and they have pulled through no Every issue at all yeah. the chef has been fantastic he's the a seafood master eating, highly <laughs> suggest getting seafood when you're here because he knows what to do and how to yeah, cook yeah. seafood everyone has all their own space like today we're on our last day and sometimes we just need extra space and nobody's on top of each other yeah, it's which perfect. is very nice. I love it. I love it. So if you want to book a stay at this house or any of their three amazing properties, make sure to check the link down below. Send them an inquiry and I'm sure they'll get back to you with a prompt response. <laughs> I have no doubt they're going to take such great care of you and you're not going to regret it. That yeah. is for sure. Otherwise, we're going to enjoy our last couple hours here before going back to Nairobi. Yeah. And until next time, see you guys in the next one.